Hello everyone, so here we have all the pieces that will be needed to assemble the key switch. This key switch will be later then attached to the switch panel. On this video here I would like to demonstrate the assembly of the key switch, which is composed by these parts here. One uh, five position rotary switch like this one. A drawer lock like this one that you can buy on Amazon, for instance. They are quite cheap um, and they turn like this. They come with a nice key. They come with this handle here as well, which we will not need uh, for this project. So we can disassemble this part here and put it aside. The screw that comes with the drawer lock, we will need it. Another work that will be needed here on the drawer lock in order to make it work will be to, to remove the barrel lock that comes, that prevents the key to rotate freely like this. I will post another video on how to do that because this is not so straightforward, but it's doable with uh, hand tools only. We we'll have to remove this internal part here and we will have to uh, use a coping saw to remove the lock that prevents the key to turn freely as we want to. But I will show how to do that in another video. Additional to that, we will also need a spring, a small spring like this, something around 14 millimeters, 14 to 15 millimeters wide. It's a very small spring two screws that we will use to attach the spring to the bracket that will receive the, the main assembly. So this will be uh, the component that where all the pieces will be attached to. And this adapter here that I designed to make this project a little bit easier because I didn't want to drill any hole here like other uh, examples that I saw where people had to drill holes either here on the back or to extend this hole here as well so I didn't want to do anything of that uh, I wanted to find a way to do this uh, the easiest way possible that's why I adapted first this bracket here which I found on the internet I will post the, the link to the original on the blog and this one I created myself by trial and error uh, and this will allow us to connect all the pieces together and also create the mechanism to have the spring back uh, in the end that we need for the ignition. So let's start the assembly. The first part here is to connect the drawer lock into the bracket. So the bracket has already these uh, indications here so, and they match like this uh, top and bottom part here of the drawer lock so it will be easy uh, to fit it here. We want to insert uh, just a little bit here because that's uh, how it will uh, stay in the end in the final mount. Then the next step will be to connect the adapter here to the back of the drawer lock using the drawer lock screw. So we will have to actually insert the screw here from the inside of the adapter like this. Once that's done, we can use the movement of the key to attach the adapter here. So well, I will put the adapter here in this position, right? Then we can turn the key to fix the screw here on the back. Another important part here is to position the connector uh, correctly. So the key has to stay 45 degrees to the left. So that's the right position for the key. Because we have this as the off position, then we will have left, right, both magnet tools, and then the ignition on the other side. So that's the initial position for the key and with this position here of the key we will have them to try to keep the connector parallel here so what I will do here I will try to just keep everything in place here like this 
and I would fix the squiggle properly, right? Okay, so now we have the key around turned left around 45 degrees and at the same time we have the connector parallel to the top of the drawer lock. So that's the right position for the connector to be. Then the next step will be to connect the rotary switch. The rotary switch has this lock here at the bottom, so this will fit on this part here on the brackets. This will be the mechanism that will prevent the rotary switch to spin, right? So all you have to do is to put it like this, press until it gets to this point here and then it will be fixed, it will not turn, right? And now you will have the five uh, positions. So you can already see here, so this will be uh, off, then uh, left, right, both, and the final ignition. Now that this is in place, then the last step here will be to add the spring, to have the spring back. So attach the screws here to the bracket. Uh, those screws I had here at home, so they are spare screws from other projects. Okay. That's okay. And then you will then be ready to also connect the spring like this. And with this setup here, you will have your key suite to assemble the switch panel module. And this will be the final result. So you'll have the off position, the left position, the right position, both magnetos position, and then the spring back. Well, that's it. So this is the key switch for the switch panel. I will come back later with another video where I will be doing the wiring and connecting this to the Arduinos and then have everything ready to be connected to the simulator. But for now, I just wanted to share how to assemble this uh, key switch here independently so you know how this mechanism works. Thank you for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you want to get more updates on the progress of this project, you can uh, check my blog c172flightsim.com. I will be posting there updates on the progress of this project as well as sharing um, the knowledge while I go. So thank you for watching and see you next time.